And two, with drop shipping, y'all. Oh my God. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Ebony. And on this channel, I'm showing y'all what really happens in the life of an entrepreneur. Taking y'all behind the scenes on my journey to becoming a fully self-employed, six-figure business owner, yes honey. And also giving y'all tips and tricks for growing your own brands and manifesting your dreams. I asked y'all on Instagram and so many people voted for a drop shipping video. Today is the first video in my drop shipping series which will be dropping all throughout the month of May. So make sure you give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment, share with a friend, and hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications so you know when I post and you don't miss any part of the series. You don't want to miss out. So let's get into it. Drop shipping. This is not a dig at anyone who drop ships. This is just my personal experience with it. This is why I started, how I started, and why I don't see myself drop shipping again. So stay tuned for my story time. Let's flash back to 2020 when the pandemic started rocking everybody's world. During that time, my job fortunately didn't let me go, so I still had a job, but I was making less than my typical paycheck that I had been budgeting for and planning my life around, it was reduced in order to save expenses in the company. I went into that entrepreneurial spirit, like I need to make some money. It also woke me up to see that I was really only relying on one source of income, which is not like me. I went straight into hustle mode. If you know me, I hate the word hustle, but I that's the only way to describe what I was doing. I was like, I need to be making more money right now. It woke me up to know that if for whatever reason my job goes down, that is my only source of income and it's completely wiped out. A lot of people, including me, started exploring other streams of income. At that time, I was following, I believe it's pronounced Christiana, Christiana Hurt. She is from Orlando and she owns a company called Wealthy College Kid. I learned about her through the Boss Palace. You've most likely heard about the Boss Palace and I learned about her other side of the company called Wealthy College Kid, which deals mostly with educating people on drop shipping. I believe I already kind of knew what drop shipping was, but didn't realize the extent of how simple it was to get started. I started following her, listening to the podcast, which I believe she still does, so definitely check out her podcast, and started soaking up as much free knowledge as I could get. At that point, I'm like, I can keep thinking about this or I can just do it. So I just started making the arrangements to do it. I had all the necessary legal stuff. I had an EIN, I was filing taxes. Blase, blase, blase. I drop shipped on eBay, and that's a whole different story, y'all. But I started drop shipping on eBay as well as started my company called The Boss Supply Co. The Boss Supply Co was meant to be like accessories for entrepreneurs. Like, I wanted to be this, its own separate brand. I was using that as a way to get introduced into Shopify because I had never used Shopify before and I knew I would also be launching my boutique, Evan Flow, that same year. So I was like, this will be my way to practice. I didn't know much about shipping and all the things that go into running your own clothing business. So I was using the Boss Supply Co to learn that, to get practice with building my website and marketing and running ads. So I did it probably, um, I started doing it maybe in March or April. My plan was to have the Boss Supply Co run in conjunction with Ebb and Flow, but they're two separate brands. Like I said, I wanted it to be like a brand. I was trying to brand it, which I'll do a separate video for y'all this month about my mistakes with drop shipping, so you don't make the same ones. But I wanted Boss Supply Co to be its own thing. I don't know. It started to get its own traction. I wouldn't say I made like thousands of dollars drop shipping. I was bringing an additional income, and with drop shipping, obviously, I didn't had I had no products on hand. What's attractive about drop shipping is the markup and the margins you have. You can find a something from China for like a dollar or even if that, that's more like on the expensive side. A phone case probably costs like $20, so just do the math, you're making a good amount of money per order. And most drop shipping is free shipping, so, or you offer free shipping, and that's another, I'll explain that to y'all in a separate video, but you're gonna wanna offer free shipping to your customers, so it's like very enticing. You're gonna be good. Like, if you put the time into it, it's good. And it started off peachy. It started off peachy. I ain't gonna hold you, so. But yeah, so I ended up, sorry y'all, 
Karma and I actually both started dropshipping businesses at the same time. Karma had Maddie and Classy Accessories. I almost forgot the name. Where she was selling like jewelry and like things like that. And then I was selling the phone supplies. And we were just doing what we do. We were like making sales, having fun with it. And it was fun. I'm not gonna hold you. Dropshipping is actually fun. Now, there's a darker turn to this story. I'm just kidding, but really, like, yeah. <laughs> I was using Alibaba, I used, oh, I think it's Oberlo. Or, 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 that was the main app I was using to like do everything. I had like a couple of suppliers that were selling things that I wasn't seeing anywhere else. I did a lot of research to see what other companies were selling phone accessories, what they were already selling, how they were pricing it. So I wasn't selling the same things. I needed to have that sauce, that spice. I was learning from Wealthy College Kid. I purchased the course to learn how to eBay drop ship and also was using that to apply to my Shopify store, doing research on trends and whatever, whatever, but not as much because my mind was so caught up in, I want this to be its own brand and whatever, whatever. And yeah, it was like, I was a little lost in the sauce there and I'll tell y'all why in a separate video. Once Evan Flow started coming in, like running a boutique is so, 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 so different from drop shipping. And I, had, I didn't really know what to expect. Once Evan Flow started to get more real, Boss Supply Co. took a back burner. I was more emotionally connected to this brand that I had wanted to start since forever. The dropshipping store was kind of like almost an experiment in a sense. Like, yeah, I wanted to have some additional money coming in, but it was also for me to learn how to run a business. I quit. Like, I took maybe from March to I think I officially closed the Boss Supply Co. in December of the same year for the main reason that it just took up too much of my time. If you're a boutique owner, you know boutique, running a boutique is so much more work, especially a brand new boutique. And here's why I don't prefer dropshipping. Here's why I probably, I won't say probably not, you never know, but I would never drop ship for my, for Evan Flow, ever, ever, ever. I have so many reasons why. Number one, I take a lot of pride in anything I do. Like if my name's attached to something, I want it to be good. I want the customers to have a great experience. I want them to come back and shop and do what they do. Drop shipping, you have to be so emotionally disconnected in order to be successful because a drop shipping store, I'm getting a little, too, a little into the video I'm gonna do later, but like when you're drop shipping, you want your products to be very, you're not gonna really be able, in my opinion, you're not gonna be able to build a strong brand with a drop ship store. Most drop shipping stores, you don't know who the owner is. You don't know nothing about them. They are selling cat beds and that's all you know. You really want the customer to come to the store, purchase and leave. And then maybe tell a friend, but they're not likely, unless you're selling other things, they're not likely to keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. So it's not really super important to build relationships with your customers like it is for a boutique. I don't like the dis the emotional disconnect that you have to have. I was so emotionally connected to both of them that with the drop shipping store, it wasn't gonna work out because I was trying to make it something that it really couldn't be. And two, with drop shipping, y'all, oh my God, you need to make sure you either A, are a good customer service person, or B, bring on someone because you're gonna spend so much time talking to customers because those shipping times were so stressful. <laughs> customers swear, they be swearing that you don't care as a business owner, that you don't care if your stuff is delayed, whatever. For me at least, and I know for a lot of other business owners, if the customer's items are delayed, we are worried about that too because that's not a good look. Like you don't want, someone to come spend their money with you and then the item's not coming in a timely manner. Like that's embarrassing and you can't help it. You're really powerless in that situation. You want to make sure you have US suppliers for one. I had a bunch of Chinese vendors. It's already a long shipping time from being overseas, going through customs, going through all these different things, getting lost in the mail. So you're talking to these vendors, you know, trying to figure out what's going on with your items. You're talking to the customers because they're getting upset with you because the items aren't here. Would think the solution is, okay, let me find US vendors. US vendors is a higher markup, so you're already losing one of the benefits of drop shipping with having a higher margin. So you're spending $7 for something in the United States that in China might be like 50 cents. So you're already losing some money. Then on top of that, there's not a bunch of US vendors 
like you really have to spend time, at least in my niche with the phone accessories, I had to spend so much time finding vendors in the United States. So I wasn't able to get the variety of products I had from China. So it was already like an issue. And then the customers, oh my God. With drop shipping, you're dealing with a wider range. Like you're not really so niche down as you would be with like a clothing brand. Say my clothing brand is targeting females who live in Atlanta. My drop shipping business was targeting pretty much any person that had a phone. So I'm dealing with so many different types of customers. It, for me, it was not worth it when I had Ebb and Flow. I had a four figure launch and I was like, oh my God, like this was so much more fun for me. I'm connected to it. I get to touch and feel the product and make sure they're good, which you can do that for drop shipping, but you're taking so much time just getting a sample when you could just be like selling the stuff. Like the purpose is to just sell the stuff. It was just not, <laughs> it was not given for me. It wasn't. Now I'm saying this to say, this is my experience. I'm a emotional person. I like to touch stuff. I like to feel stuff. I like to know what's going on. I like to put notes in my packaging. I like my customers to know who I am. I like to know my customers. There's so many things that go into it for me and dropshipping, I'm not able to do that. Yes, you can have vendors who will allow you to send your packaging, send your notes, whatever to them, but it's still not the same for me. That's why I invest in traveling to these different events like Magic to meet the vendors, to touch the items, to form those relationships because those relationships you form with your vendors helps your, you form a relationship with your customers. I'm a relationships person, so that's just me. That's just my personal preference. I will share with y'all throughout this month. Make sure you subscribe. How to set up a drop shipping business. All the stuff that I did for my drop shipping store. And mistakes I made so you don't make the same ones if you want to do it. I I'm not a drop shipping person. Just the thought of having to speak to people all day or upset with you because they are upset with you is especially when you have other things going on like other businesses. So yeah, it was easy for me to quit the boss of Blanco. I was not upset about it at all. If I had to quit Evan Flow, which I never will, I would be devastated. But yes, you guys, that's my story. That is how I got into drop shipping. I don't know if I answered it, but if did I make a lot of money? No. Mm -mm. I don't even know how much I made because that store is closed, so I can't even go back to the analytics, but I probably made a couple hundred dollars on that store. And then going into the eBay store, I was selling all kinds of different things. I was not connected emotionally. I was not building a brand. It was literally like whatever's trending is what I was selling. And I don't even remember how much I made, but it helped. Here I am today, I was able to pay all my bills and I'm not trying to be misleading. Like no, all my bills were not paid strictly because of drop shipping. Excuse me, I was doing so much, so many other things, money management, I was on unemployment, just savings, like all that stuff went into it, but it definitely was, oh, and I was doing consulting, I was building Shopify websites. Like your girl was really hustling during that time. The drop shipping, I'm not gonna knock it, it helped me some, like it was definitely some money coming that I needed. So yes. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. If you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, leave me a comment, share with a friend, and hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications so you know when I post. And yes, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Wishing you so much success in all of your dreams, goals, and business plans. Bye.